I'm gonna show you how to take a door panel off a, this is a 2005 Silverado. The process here is 99 through, I don't know, 06. And, and even then outside of those ranges, it's not that different. It's just a, some of the bolts and stuff is connected different places. But the process is kind of, kind of the same. Once you take this door panel off, you get access to all kinds of stuff when you gotta get to like speakers, your window motor, your lock mechanism. And that's actually the issue I've got today. This doesn't want to lock very easily. This part here is very, very difficult. When you lock and unlock, it doesn't move. So all the other three doors lock and this one doesn't. So I'm gonna get this door panel off. We'll see if I can troubleshoot why that's so sticky. I'm assuming it's just dirty. And uh, we'll clean it up and throw some grease on it and then we'll put this back together. One thing you wanna uh, look for, any kind of door panel you're taking off, this is kind of universal, like I said. There's gonna be various panel pieces, clips, screws, so anything that can move, you wanna see if it'll move. So for instance, in this case, you see this little piece of this panel right here, well, that's gonna come off, most likely. Yeah. And then um, there's a little knob right here. Be careful with some of this stuff because you can damage your, your interior. So you wanna be a little mindful of that. I've got this kit, I've shown this a bunch of times on the channel trim pieces off and clips off and whatnot. So this is the most common one that I use. There it goes. Set that up here so I don't lose it. So yeah, it's a Torx, I'm guessing probably a T20 or T25. There's a screw back here that's probably something five millimeter, or seven millimeter or something. Uh, this piece comes off. I believe you want to take this, yeah, left side first, because the right side's just got a little hook on it. Um, it actually doesn't look like it matters. It'll go either way. Okay, so this moves pretty freely, so this isn't the issue, but it's definitely dirty. Yeah. So it's somewhere back in here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna take this off. Same thing, there's a couple of clips at the top and there's a little L, little hook here at the bottom. So if you pull from the bottom, it's not gonna come off, it's gonna break. Um, this is a unique difference in what we wouldn't be universal in these door panels. Some of them have hooks like this, this one does. When we get this off, we're gonna have to pick this up and out to pick up off these little hooks here. Some have a bunch of pins. You just have to keep pulling the pins. If you don't know which yours has and you can't find any information about it, don't assume you just yank the door panel off because there's clips in there because those clips are really hard to pull. So it's gonna, those clips will give you a fair amount of resistance and you'll think you have to just pull harder. But if you have a hook style, you're gonna break those hooks off. So if you have a hook style, it'll slide real easy. So if you think, once you make sure you've got everything disconnected, it should just lift up nice and easy. If it Try that first before you start yanking on stuff, just in case. So we're gonna take this screw out and that Torx bit out. Let's see what we got here. T25, I think. 20. And then you got this screw here. It's either gonna be a 9, 30 seconds or like a seven millimeter. Nine, 30 seconds works pretty good. If you got some way to get them out with a power, like the drill here, it'd be nice because that's a long screw. Not sure why it had to be that long. Uh, oh yeah, wait, one clip over here. This one is an actual like tree style clip. So you gotta have something to pull that out. Okay. I think that's everything. We should be able to just pick this up and off. Yep. There's some wiring harnesses back here for all these, you know, switches here. There's your 
wiring harnesses here and they should just push in Usually a pin on one side you gotta push in, just pull it out. This one looks different. Okay, I'm gonna show you these clips. So some of these clips, most of them are like this, where there's just a little tab you push down and it pops it out. All three of these were like that, but this one was different. This one has a uh, kind of a bracketing mechanism that when you plug this in, it pushes this rotates this up and locks it in so, so it won't accidentally pop out. So you have to push this little tab down here. I just pushed out my fingernail and then I was able to rotate this down. So it sits up here, this part here, will click in over that tab. So as you rotate it down, it just sort of pulls itself out of its plug. Uh, the other one you wanna look out for, mine was already missing. If you notice on the door panel was up here, it doesn't have a little light down here. This is the light socket for that. And just feeds into that um, housing. So this one was already pulled out, but you want to look for that too. This plastic that's up here is sealed into, it's sealed into the door with some glue and you can just pull it. It'll usually reseal later if you need to. So this is the lock mechanism here. And so now here, that actually slides pretty easily. It sits usually in this, these clips here. I wonder if that clip is bad. Oh, this is definitely, I can feel it and it's super sticky. It's got like grease on it. So I'll get something to clean that with. Now, what do you clean this with? Well, there's a number of options. You can just throw some brake cleaner on there. I'm trying not to get too harsh with it. So I'm gonna go like a real light cleaner. So I'm just gonna use some spray away glass cleaner and try that first. See if I can get it clean with that. It's got alcohol in it and that alcohol can help break stuff up. But that does not seem to be working very well. It's still very, very sticky. I'm gonna hit it again. Just kind of leave it sit on there for a little bit. It's better. Still a little sticky. So let's try something a little more potent. We've got some, this uh, degreaser here. I'm not going to spray that on it. I'm going to spray this on the towel. And then wipe it on. That's better. The other thing I want to do is I want to hit that inside there. I need a little brush to clean it out with. So just get a little wire brush in there. Nothing too crazy. Don't scrub too hard. It is a pretty stiff bristled brush. I wish I had something a little bit lighter, but everything, all the plastic bristle ones I have are either melted or filthy. I don't think they're going to help. So I'm just kind of get in there and wipe it out. Now I'm going to throw some grease in there. Where's my lithium grease? So this is just some PB Blaster white lithium grease. Let's take that out before I... I want to shake this up for I haven't used it in a while. Let's see how long to shake it up. Shake the can. Spray liberally. Don't be shy. Spray more if needed. <laughs> I don't make too big a mess here. go. Let's spray a little more. I said don't be shy. Much better. I'm going to throw some, since I'm in here, on the rest of it. 
good enough for me. So we'll stick this back up here as best we can. See how sticky it is? It's not very sticky. All right. Well, what can we throw up there? Restick it. I don't want to glue it because I do want to be able to take it back off. Usually it's got some like foamy glue on it. It'll restick, but this one don't have that. I'll throw a little bit of the some black car TV gasket maker on it. Just a little little dobs here. Put one in that corner. One here. Nothing too extravagant, so. There. Good enough. That'll hold. All right, let's get this panel back on. we to hook our connections back up. So the black one goes to the bottom. Well, in this case, goes to the back but it's bottom when it's sideways like this too much for my rtv sticking huh that was what i was trying to avoid exactly that and the blue one and then a big plug here there we go and up there all right so just make sure you're gonna roughly line up your hooks and there's one big hook that goes on the top of this frame here. Getting it back on, by the way, is always way harder than getting it off. Where are you? There it goes. Moves now, nice and easy. We'll pop back in here in a second. Let's rehook our socket, our light socket back up down here. back in I think I'm lined up right no I'm still not down far enough I don't think it's a very tiny space there we go covered by plastic and grease anyway there we go put this pin in over here our clip there we go now we're working all right where's that other panel this piece we'll put back on here the same deal it's got a hook on one end so you're going to pop from the left side the hook on the right side so when you put it back in put the hook side in first and then pop those clips in oh let's uh trim up here on the pillar same deal hook first and then let's line up and holes and it clips back on all right now let me clean up my Greasy handprints up here now. I've got an interior cleaner that works better. There. Look. 
taking all my RTV fingerprints off. Uh, this was pulled out. This just clips in here. So I just fed the wire through and clip it in here. I'm gonna replace these with some new LED ones. But for now, at least it's not flopping around. So you just kind of go in the front, rotate back, just clicks in. Uh, they make a aftermarket that's just LEDs in here. And that works a lot better, I think. Um, also, it's, since, especially since it's missing the face plate. I could just get a new, I have LED bulbs. I could just get a new housing. It's got the red, I think it's red and white. I think it's so just a red reflector on the outside and then a white lens on the inside, if I recall. All the doors are missing them. See, smooth as silk, right? Super easy. They, they can be kind of a pain to get back on. The ones that have the clips in them, where you just pop them off and push them back on, those are actually a lot easier. The ones that have these hooks, you gotta align each hook up into its little respective holes and then be able to drop it down. That's how you do the front. Uh, I'll show you real quick on the rear, what the rear looks like, because uh, it's, it's pretty much the same, but it's not exactly the same. So I'll show you the differences. The rear doors are very similar. You've got a cover over the handle, so the handle can come out. It wasn't want to get out that little piece. Uh, you get this here to pop, to pop out. And then in this one, there's a screw in here, same size screw, that nine, 30 seconds. And there's one down the bottom corner down here. And then just like the other one, this just lifts up and out. And you'll have a harness for this, for the window and all that jazz. So it's, you know, just smaller, oriented slightly different, but for the most part, set up kind of the same. Door panels are back on, got our lock fixed. Hope that was helpful for you. If you ever have to take these door panels off to fix anything, um, they like you said, like I said, they're pretty straightforward. Just be careful with what you're doing because they also are very easily breakable. So, you know, double check before you yank on something or pry on something to make sure it uh, wants to come off uh, and you don't break it. But thanks for watching and uh, hit that like and subscribe, especially subscribe because I think like 99% of people that watch these videos are not subscribers and you could be and it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me. So if you like these videos, hit the like button. But even if you don't, I appreciate you watching and um, we'll see you next time.